Hello, everybody. Welcome to the eighth Scrying Pool podcast. Um, another one that got off to a 45 minute late start, etc., etc., as everyone who's taking part in this will know, and anybody who's watched these in the past will know that these are never, these never start on time, they never finish on time, and we always talk far too long about things that we may or may not actually care about. Anyways, this is, this is gonna be covering... No! What the hell, line? Nice intro. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is gonna be covering the January updates and the February behind the scenes, which includes... Um, the super, super giganto epic god quest that we've been waiting for for, what, like three yeah. months now? Anyways, here joining me today is, <laughs> is, uh, Shiraki. What's up? Okay. Uh, Walter's in chat. Gina. Um, Silent Mose and all, and I thought I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Robo. Hello. Orange. Hello? Kitten? On a fucking provoke. <laughs> Lambda Lime. Woo! And Rubik. Famous Hello. Instruments. I am Knight of Knee, or whatever else you want to call me. Um, Carolyn. Or, or Carolyn, according to Gina. Um, and yeah, we're, I'm not going to waste much time, much more time on that silly stuff. I'm going to get right into this stuff. Um, the first update in January last or in January was the God Statues construction D&D. We covered that a little bit in the last podcast. Um, this thread that I'm looking at with all the topics says uh, as, as a de description you decorate a rock. Ooh, yep. I did it once. That's, that's about it. Um, anyways, second one was Calphite King, which Yay! was a rather important update with regards to combat and new weapons and all of that stuff. I have extremely little experience, actually no experience personally, so I'm going to leave it to you guys. So what do you think about the Calphite King? Tell me. Well, I, I am there as we speak, so <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Satan's pretty they much done the, the past hardest, month. They said it would be the hardest boss ever, and it got oh, duoed on the first day. Yes, it's not that hard of a boss. Like, if everyone has the level 90 weapons are really just and pay attention, yep. then you're fine. I'll leave it's it. even been soloed, from what I've heard. Like, legitimately. Yeah, yeah Grar soloed it. Took him a million tries. No, yeah, well, it's not, it's not did that he bad. Do the, uh, uh, I don't know Grar did. That's cool. Second, second account, though. That Jmod yeah. ate his words. <laughs> I thought that it wasn't soloable because of there was a, some kind of an attack that is an insta-kill attack that you can't dodge with. I, I that think you can prevent it. There is, but you can... I'm not sure how... It. Anyone actually prevented it aside from stunning the living crap out of it? But I guess I, I thought of a way you could do it. Um, the hit, it said ten thousand hit point guarantee, but you can use some armor to go above ten thousand hit points. So, oh, well, that's true. I can go over ten thousand hit get points. Get lucky with a ten k. Uh, like, <laughs> I made an outfit to specifically get to ten thousand hit points, just exactly. You were at what eleven eleven thousand five hundred was your max. No, it is something like that. Yeah. 11,248, I think it was. Yeah. With the Legends cape? <laughs> yep, like a boss. it gives 100 life points. <laughs> yeah, so that's... I still wear it, to be honest. So that's, that's interesting. Along with that update came, um, I guess, just lump in the combat updates. Um, they, so they changed, along with the Calphite King, they changed the combats the equipment system such that it was exponential rather than linear. So level 80 stuff is way better than level 70 stuff. Wait, and was that with the Calphite yeah. King? Yeah, it was. Or, yeah, it was, it was with, or, yeah, it was I think it was with the... Yeah. Be I thought it was with the Hadean Skulls. Because they were talking about how well, it was, was like the entire week was going to be combat filled or whatever. I thought that was a Hayden Skull one. Hattie Skull came out at the same update too. Yeah, Hattie Skull and Calphite King were all at the same time. I still haven't done well, Hattie Skull. Oh, sure. Hattie Skull isn't that notable because we've had it like twice before. Yeah. It's not It's not yeah. really any different, and I believe that's abandoned. Probably yep. is. <laughs> yeah. Well, at this point, it probably is. 
That's what you <laughs> get for reusing dead content, Drag X. I'm pretty sure they just boosted the live points of them for the EOC. That's it, because I can go there and solo it with no armor. Well, I went and soloed it last year, too, so that's not saying Yeah, that but much. I'm soloing it with no armor, no food, just weapons, and that's it. Okay. That's me. Real this is me. Punch so. it solo. <laughs> Anyways, <Woo>! um, <clears throat> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, the Hattie Skull not really even worth mentioning at this point. But yeah, some of the combat updates. Um, so there was they did change it from being, as I said, from being linear to exponential. How much of a difference has that made? A huge one. I haven't mm -hmm. noticed. What? I haven't I noticed. Really haven't noticed. Have not it's because like, like if you have if you have the a huge difference. To be honest, there is a huge difference. Like I've I've actually tested it out between the low level armor and then like from the armor that I have plus like if you use like barrows or something like that, mm -hmm. it's a huge difference. Cause um, like I'm, using rune armor, I die a lot. It's just a level eighty weapon wearing full gear of the opposite type has higher stats in level sixty weapon level sixty weapon than nothing else, like the correct type or whatever. Hmm. Like maybe twice as much, twice as much. I'm not sure. That's yeah, that is significant. What were you gonna say, Shiraki? Mm -hmm. Well, I I don't know if I was just being really dense when I was reading the update, but so I like I thought it said that when like after the combat update there would be like a cap of like level armor, and if you don't wear like like let's say seventy armor seventy and above, then bosses will just automatically hit you harder or something like that? Does that just mean they just did the exponential growth and I was just being dense, dense when reading it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's just like the they armor. Got, oh. The armor is what basically what changed. I don't, and the weapons, I think, changed also, but besides that... Well, I know that they, I that they made, they also, in this update, they made most bosses just hit harder. Because pre this, before this update, yeah. I mean... Yeah. Robo Gina and I and Assertes and a few others random scryers were going on journal hunts like at me. um at <coughs> excuse me God at, at God Wars Dungeon and we were just we were sitting there without food, without we just sitting there doing just point and click and ability spam for like an hour and none of us were getting hurt oh. at all. Well, no, really didn't really but... change. From what I've heard, it's still like that for a few of them. It is. It, it was to a point where it's like you could go to next and take no damage for a good half of that's, the kill yeah, at that's least. That's how it was when I went. That's, yeah, and then then they unnerfed it, and now it's actually difficult, and you have to try. That's <laughs> such a damn shame. That's what, paved the way. that's what paved the way to the Scryer mass events. So I know most people last longer than me there, but I randomly did a uh, armor gobbler solo trip just out of boredom I think I lasted about six or seven. Oh no I had to actually I had to uh log out I had to leave the room and come back in because I was gonna get six hour long. Huh. No <laughs> Yeah well but I had enough Yeah but then they but then they they over buffed some of the dragons I think it was like the myth dragons oh, were yes. pretty much impossible. Yes. Myth dragons were impossible. You could not do a glaze or kill. You could not do what? A glaze or oh. kill, like mythal dragons. It literally, if you want, if you had like even the best armor, you could get maybe two a trip if you were lucky. That and then they nerfed it somewhat, and then I was able to do it to get. I could get like about maybe five myself a trip, but it's still kind of difficult. And I think they're nerfing it again at some point, if they haven't already. What's in, I wonder what. Well, I wonder what rune dragon Walter will be like. Walter said they weren't in the nerfed list. I thought they were. Oh, maybe it was every dragon but myth. I know that they wanted wow. them to stop the botting of myth dragons, which doesn't even make sense. Like, why are you botting <laughs> myth dragons? But yeah. um, there's cream black dragon bots. Yeah, well, I'm sure there are. Wait. Yeah. But, <clears throat> it's better that nobody could do mithril dragons if bots if bots couldn't. Well, they need to fix freaking <laughs> brutal greens first of all. But seriously. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So they they nerfed they re-nerfed all of those the other dragons. I can find a list somewhere, but I can't be bothered right now. Um, and then and then obviously Glacors, which were way too easy before, and then they got buffed. And were they re-nerfed? 
Um, I don't know. I haven't been actively doing those. Yeah, ones. they they've been re-nerfed. Yeah, they have. Because I know it was a, it wasn't a, necessarily a challenge pre EOC, but it wasn't like, but it wasn't easy. Like before before you could like one hit them, two hit them, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, of course, of course, with like after you kill the minions mm -hmm. and stuff. But then then they did it so where it's like you couldn't do it, you would not be able to. Like unless you somehow get extremely lucky, lucky, and then they read it like nerfed it again, to where their points like pretty okay. It's not hard. It's well, not it's easy. Well, it's a balancing act, and that's not supposed to be an easy boss. It also doesn't need to be a ridiculously difficult boss. Yeah. Because I mean, it's meant for solo, so you know. Yeah. All right. So there's that, and anything else we should touch on with regards to this combat update? Anything? Any other important? Factors of it. Um, probably not. Let me check if there's anything else. Oh yeah, they changed um, regen and rejuvenation. And those and back armor. That yeah. was. Oh. And they added rejuvenation. Claws, like, but who cares? Um, yeah, that's not a claws were a dumb idea. It mm -hmm. was. It was perfect for merching, I guess. I think, I think they made a good move on regeneration and rejuvenation. That's how we huh. absolutely no problem. Yeah, that's Fortnite. how we did the yeah. God Wars is regen and rejuvenation. Yeah. Oh, we need HP that's re how <laughs> rejuvenation. Yeah, that's how I got through um Brink of Extinction, just Genuary. rejuvenate all the time. Yeah, same. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm glad that they added the it was a five minute it's a five minute cooldown now. I almost feel like they could have made it longer, make it some, almost near ten minutes, because they otherwise I mean it's still that kind of well, every other kill you can still use it, depending on what your what boss you're fighting. Yeah, it's like Cal Viking. Every single kill you can at least use it once. Which, I mean, it's not a problem because it's helpful if you want to yeah. stay. But I don't know. It depends on the boss you're going yeah, of for. Of course. Then regeneration is still it's useful for this when you have the time to do it. But oh yeah, and that's. It's Legion like is more Legion useful least. for something like God Wars Dungeon, because after every kill, or you said... Or DGs. Or, yeah. After every kill, you go and you you have the downtime. They also buffed uh, Nex, and, <coughs> or like Nex armor and Bando stuff, Oh yeah, they? they did add strength bonuses for the full set. I think somebody asked, I think it was actually Mo asked yesterday if the okay. tor if t that required the boots and the gloves as well, did it? Or is it just the chest, chest, helm, and legs? What do you mean for the yeah, set effect? effect? It requires the boots and gloves, oh, yeah. Okay. And it's just a strength bonus, or is there some other... It says that it's just a damage bonus. Because okay. I know that I got... I got full subjugation because I knew that it was going to give um, a strength bonus. Oh, uh, <clears throat> and I mean, I'm half, almost, almost halfway to the Sea Singer robe set. So, yay, pop! Someone actually had Nick Jeopardy. Say that again. All right. Someone actually got negative points in Jeopardy. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Next yeah. topic, desert tasks. Yeah, desert tasks. Desert Plus, tasks are next. You run around and you run around and do stuff you didn't know existed, and you get a reward that you will never use. Yay. Yeah. 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 For the yeah, lore. For the lore. I, I, it's the one where you where you make things from scratch by doing all the steps at completely different times. Out yeah, more. pretty much. It's basically yeah. you do what Gina <laughs> does normally. Yep. You're just you just get rewarded <laughs> for it. <laughs> Rubik and I had a kind of race to do the tasks on day of release. I beat you. No, you didn't. Oh boy. Pretty sure I did. No, really, you did. Really, you too. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, so what exactly does the amulet do? It's as good as a teleport glory, and that's to... about it. <laughs> it's uh, it teleports it replaced... you to Narda. It, it replaced my emerald uh, amulet in my set. 
find another good use for it. That's about oh, it. Oh wait, it, it proves that you spam through of Dominion Town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we teleport to Alley of the Wise. Teleport to uh, it, Well, it forced me to do, um, mage training arena. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just done that. Uh, I happen to have <laughs> enough points left on it. That was just God, obnoxious. That was easy. Oh, it's easy it's, to really, it's boring. It's not. It's not that it's difficult. It's just that it's really hell, yeah. boring. Yeah, it is boring. Yeah. Takes yeah, I think I did like. I think I saved up for all of like a chaos rune in order to finish that task or something. I think, I think cosmic I, rune I, is the easiest one to do. Got one steam rune. <laughs> I got a law rune. Rubik, you oh, remember? Cool. I spent like ten minutes yelling <laughs> at the rewards guardian trying to get the glitch to fix itself. You got glitched. Yeah, I got quit, so I couldn't buy the thing that I had the nice. points to buy. That, that's why I beat him. So I, I, so it's a draw. I just stood there for like ten minutes. <laughs> um, the Rudoku thing was I did so the wrong one. Like, <clears throat> anyway, one of the tat or one of the rewards, whatever, is like make molten glass out of soda ash. But who has soda ash? And who's gonna make molten make it into molten glass? GE has soda ash. Um, soda ash is made but are you, from. Are, are you honestly? You cook seaweed, seaweed on a range. Yeah, but, but are you honestly gonna go out of your way to get all that and go to the desert to do that every day? Well, since every we day? actually since we actually did that. Oh yeah, that thing. You do it every day. Oh fun. Construction training. Yay. <laughs> I guess. All right. So yeah, so more or less the desert tasks it. are a bunch of stuff that you do and yeah, you get something that you don't really use. Yay, task sets. But you're but it's required yeah. for Taskmaster, so Well, it looks really fancy on my uh in my outfit, so I can't complain. Okay, that's fair. Time when emotes were actually not spammed in your little Box, and you could actually find everything you wanted I'm to find. I'm completely lost as to what you just said. <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard Mo, but that made no sense. Rubik, what even? I was saying how the emo little tab is all spammed with everything, and you can't find what you want to There's find. There's no order my, to it. My mo. <laughs> my yeah. mo. What? <laughs> oh, emo. I, I no. thought you said mo. Anyways, okay, so yeah, we have. The uh, the notice board really isn't task friendly. Oh, it isn't. <laughs> it isn't quest friendly either. It's really just not friendly. Yeah. They're actually gonna fix that soon. They they actually posted a thread in the future updates stating something about buying that. quest <clears throat> tab. Fine, fi finally, yeah. Well, they're removing the academy tab. Yeah. Finally. Freaking time. <laughs> well, why that was to there, give everybody no a free knows. teleport to one bridge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like I you have that right. already. What? I forgot that yeah. thing. It's just another thing I misclick on, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Same. It's, it's one more thing there. Of course, it would take multiple clicks to actually misclick your way to Lumbridge, but you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I mean the tab itself, but. But yeah, so that's. I sometimes misclicked it trying to get into my notice board. I don't know how though. Yeah, so that's that. Um, we'll, yeah, so that's that. And I'm um, hearing myself we'll, again. I'm hearing myself. All right. I hear yourself twice also. Great. I don't I mean, know. What exactly? Anyways, so after the de it desert task was demon flash mobs, which was, as far as I can remember, <laughs> spam's I... chat box, um, was. A bunch I of demons spawning for crappy drops that help killing. I tr demons. I tried to go a few of them. I couldn't because they would be dead yes. before I could do anything. And then and then yeah. the, and then the one that I had actually went to was uh, earlier today. It sucked because I got sixty U logs and that's about nice. it. Nice twenty four K drop. Me and some other scars have been killing them. Uh, We've been coming the wilderness lately. Oh yeah, just, I've, I, I went to the wilderness to see how many people were there. What else? No one. Dead content is dead. That's pretty much just 
Yep. Pretty much Mr. Carter. No one's going to go kill. to the wilderness with their gear to kill demons. I do. I do. Oh. BRB. <laughs> okay. Waiting for demons to spawn so I can kill <laughs> Robo. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> actually. I just bring my best wood sticks up there since those kill everything. Well, almost everything. I could kill right. a ghost. I think that's about it for demon yeah, the flash mobs, though. Other than, well, we could go into the lure well, that's if you what want. This podcast is for. What's a lure? The lure. The lure. Is, yeah, when you lure people to the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> is it where we lure. take Robo to the wilderness and Majorat <laughs> kill him? Majorat battles go. <laughs> or, or is it what what we do when fishing? We 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 lure. We we do things with. Ah. Does anyone even use that for the fishing? Lure, with the lure. lure. <laughs> it sounds lore, the same to me. I don't know lore. what you're talking about. Lure, lure, and lore are two different. <laughs> for things. the lure. Lore. <laughs> lore. For uh, the lure. The, uh, that sounds more French-like. The quest was announced. Say that again, Robo. Mm. <laughs> uh, before the quest was announced in the behind the scenes, the uh, Demon Flash Mars update was a hint towards the quest soon because. If you talk to um, Brother Slurred, he talks about how the, uh, the Edicts of Geth The reason why the demons stopped coming in the Second and Third Age is because of the Edicts of Gothics and Xeros' banishment. And so now that they're returning, hints that one of those things reversed. Either Xeros is returning or the Edicts of Gothics are going to be broken. Yeah, and uh, along those lines, I think down in the future, where was it? Um, where. It um, Os Osborne was asked a question: Are the desert desert pantheon demigods bound by the edicts officially? His response was: Demigods would have to do something tremendous to be affected by the edicts if they exist at all. Which is yeah, we've been hitting that for quite a while. So, what's a join? Join, join. Oh, cool. Anyways. Shut okay. up. We're up to 92%. Yeah, is there anything, anything else lore based re regarding the flash mobs? Yes. Well, no, not regarding well, the flash mobs. Well, I don't know about lore based, but it certainly is Other lore news. based. We're, we're good on to that later. I said we skip that, unless you really want to talk about bots well, and cheaters being banned. there's plenty of that, and then we have pretty much talked about the high-level monster rebalance and the upcoming changes, because that was for the Cal Fight King update. Um, then MMG made that post that was like, thanks, guys. No more Squeal of Fortune and Solomon stuff, but then it was... But that was already in the... Oh, what somebody Fortune. said in the <laughs> CC yesterday was... Is that, that most all that of this is stuff true. was already in the yes. pipeline? Like it was already created, already ready to go. I mean, like why would they just say, "Um, no, J.K." I mean, they're gonna release it. It's just gonna be down the road. They're gonna be doing less and less. That is probably true. Hopefully. But yeah, say I'd like to again, say Robo. Oh, I said I'd like to say something. Uh, oh, wait. We're up to like, I think it's, uh, let's see, 92 people now who support a Lord form. I've been trying to get as many people as we can to see if we can get Jags to do that. Oh yeah, they were, yeah, you were, you were trying to get people to support for a Lord sub forum. Yep, you no, know, I went, I was, um, I was reading the wiki that, uh, last night. Lord. And I was bored, so I clicked on one of those, uh, what you call it, mm -hmm. random Lord. wikis. And, uh, well, it was a random wiki for a game that was made about a month ago, which just has, like, no plot at all. And even their sub, even their forms are lures for them. Because Jagex. Well, I mean, that's more or less what the Future Updates forum kind of acted as for a while, so... Most, most, most yeah, forums, most game unhealthy. forums don't have a Future Updates forum, or even a recent Updates forum, for that matter. So... I guess, on one hand, count your blessings, and on the other hand, good luck with the getting the forums. Oh my God. That's Anyways. Well, to be honest, uh, recent updates and future updates really have well, become a rage recent bin. Recent updates has become a rage bin. 
Yeah, I'll feel just it. It's kind of a uh, side place for it. Just like a trash can, just reaching. Future updates is the spillover area. It's a splash <laughs> zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Shamu. Yeah. Well, I mean, ragers are gonna rage, so you know that's that's just kind of how it works, I guess. Anyways, so I think we're done with January content. Now we move on into February. Um, Sinkholes was released this last week. I keep seeing people spamming the CC about it. Sinkhole plus one. Sinkhole plus one. Sinkhole plus one. Sinkhole plus one. It's dead content already. It's, it's, like. If you want to go somewhere, you want to go to World 134, I think. Yeah, and it's even, Like, during the middle of the day when everyone's on, you you can get into some place pretty easily. But if you do it, like, during the night, you can't. You yeah. cannot. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good content. It, it's actually convinced me to go in a yeah. dungeon once in a while. It, it actually is really good. Because it's... You just go around the dungeon, kill things, pick up the totems, and then you deposit it, and then... About five minutes later, you go to the little reward area, and then you basically screw each other over. To, to be to be honest, I consider sinkholes less of a mini game oh, than dungeoneering is. <laughs> oh right. Uh, I don't think that. I think sinkholes are more of a mini game. That's what everyone said about dungeoneering. Oh my god! I just heard you twice. Yeah. Oh Gina, my god! I doing? just heard you twice. What even happened? Uh, Mo broke it. Okay. Say. Okay. Anyways, since a parent, well, we're gonna. Anyways, since a parent, well, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ruben. Ruben. It's Gina. It's not Ruben. It's Gina. Unless huh? it's now Rubik. No, it's definitely Unless Gina. It's now Rubik. No, the echo is coming from Gina. Gina, please mute your mic. Gina, please take the mic. Pretty please. Pretty please. I'm trying to fix and it. I, I do believe survey. Hello, Bay. Hey, Lance is here. So, hello. Hey, hey. Pretty How you good. doing? Pretty good. We're good. just now good. getting to the February stuff. We just hey, covered hey. sinkholes a little bit, and I think we are going to actually go back and at least mention the fact that they redid the Demon Slayer quest, the free-to-play Demon Slayer. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Which I, I'll never but, be done. That's a joke rework. They also changed the, uh, the, the Druidic Ritual area south of Varrock. It has a, a hole there now, we know it's going to be used in the God's Quests, so... Future update Future head. update head. <laughs> So, yeah. Woo! But the quest, the quest was pretty simple. It well, really I mean, didn't have anything before. special to it. Yeah. I, I, I like, I like, I like the older quest a lot more than I like this one. I'll yeah, say that. It, it, well, yeah. it says yeah. Anyways, um, so I mean, there there <laughs> isn't much to say about this, but I mean, we just have to. You talk to some guy. You go into a dungeon. You complete three little, well. Not even three puzzles. It's like one's something that's actually pretty good. The others is kill about ten skeletons and answer questions about the quest. Then you go to South Varrock, kill a few Zamorakian mages. Then you fight Delrith. But the the boss fight with Delrith is actually pretty cool. I will say that. Is the whole thing overall more in line with current lore? <laughs> no. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Auto response. Okay. There's no more I, I, don't, yeah. I didn't actually know about it until someone pointed it out to me because I didn't actually see it at the bottom. I never, I never yeah. did it. Okay. I didn't cool. even think about it. But then again, I've been, I've been living well, in it yeah. the last two months. So. <laughs> I love that. The, the Delworth boss fight is actually pretty. Like, if you go outside the shield of the the one guy he creates, then yeah. you get. All your HP goes away except for one. Wow. One little life point, and that's it. Sounds He's fun. No mad. Yeah. Cool. Delrith is a one HP attack now. <laughs> Walter almost died to Delrith. Bad stuff. Yeah. So, took, the new he Nomad. Took half, <laughs> he took half my life points. That, that asshole. I, I've got nothing on that guy. 
<laughs> the update in the Dominion Tower too is if he's there. Oh yeah, I heard that like Plus. on upon release when he was in the Dominion Tower, he was glitchy as hell. Interesting. Fun. So they added Delrith to the Dominion Tower, but they can't <laughs> add somebody like oh I don't know Vanstrom. God, I'm seriously, that, that would actually be a fun be. fight. Well, yeah. well they. Delworth is already in the Dominion Tower, and since they removed him from the old quest and updated the quest where he's updated, they kind of actually had to fill that spot again. So, what were you saying, that's why. What? Oh, Thank we should you. add Charlie so people realize how overpowered well, he is now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it takes about like 40 Good minutes char? or something to kill her. <laughs> Dear God, why? Yep. Wow. What? Because, uh, after, ever since the, the buffed up weapon armor, it's like impossible to hit Char. She has like 99,000 defense. Holy crap. So you can't go in there with bronze knives anymore and just well. go pew, 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 pew. You, yeah. you can't, but you might, uh, hit God. once in a journal. Well, bar. that's fun. Um,. Okay. Glad I got that one done when I got it done, then, I suppose. Right. Someone there was uh, really apparently, uh, Walter says, Char is bugged. Someone was angry in the chat that they couldn't get their cape back because they couldn't do it. That's... The uh, talker hawk is actually very difficult now, too. But, um, Wait, what is? Apparently he has oh, Talker Hawk. Talker Hawk and his uh, buddies. So wait, they buffed him too? How do you buff that? Because that's I mean, just that's like, murder. What? <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. Why did they need a buff? Exactly. No, it was, I actually found the boss quite easy. Because I just put on Ancient Magic's Ice Barrage and it stunned him every single time. Yeah. When did you do it? Like, on the release. Well, no, it got buffed recently, I think is what they're saying now. Well, a buff plus the rejuvenation and regenerate stuff, that's... Uh, I didn't use... I didn't yeah. use regenerate. not a fun boss. ...for it. I did. Yeah, I didn't use it either, because you'd have to use a <laughs> wand. Spammed. And I couldn't swap to a shield, because I actually tried. And, she, and he went right for the lava yeah. as soon as I swapped and stopped stunning him. That's some nomad level crap right there. Yeah, I didn't I didn't bother with rejuve or regen, obviously not regen for that boss fight. Um, it took me a while, mostly because I didn't know I it took me a few tries to realize, oh, if you you have to actually kill the ranger, um, and you have to actually pray against him because yeah. he'll hit you for seven K. I mean Yeah, same here. But yeah. Which gave me a Stand in the lava, little. The floor was annoying as hell. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just a bunch of stuff to keep yeah, your eyes on. But didn't but, we already talk about this? But if yeah. you got buffed a yeah. little so, bit, then let's we not talk about it anymore. Revisit it for Bye, guys. Half a second. Bye, Kitten. Bye. Um. I'm afraid. Gina. What? Gina. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Anyway. What? Okay, so <laughs> we could we could hear what was Sorry, going what? on in your background. Or nothing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead okay, and say it was Mo. Mo. We're gonna blame Mo. Mo. Anyways, okay. So Mo. anything else? So we talked about. We went back and touched on that and on. Let's well, go is to there anything else that we want to talk about with sinkholes? No. Okay. Slayer mm -hmm. Tower rework and Slayer no. contracts. Look. Go. Finally. Yeah, it does look God, that place now. looks like crap. It does. It looks yeah. epic in the pictures. It was, with, yeah. From the pictures and the video, it looks pretty cool. I love the way that they're cool, giving it depth. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Look at the wings. Your pun? Well, of Look course you are. to the head and up. It's most though. What were you saying, Kitten? There's like two trees and one little area, like one patch of whatever those leaves are supposed to be that are mm. not updated yet <laughs> near the Slayer Tower. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, please be updated. <laughs> Like I think Mauritania has is one of the few places that doesn't have well, updated there aren't any trees, trees in and stuff like that. 
Like, there's, like, what, three? No, there's, like, yeah. that just oh, I guess the woods. You forgot about the haunted, the haunted woods. wood. But weren't those... Yeah. Oh, no, because they have the... What was mm -hmm. it? The, yeah. um, I can't even remember what the names of those trees are. Like, the hollow trees? Hollow, hollow trees. trees. Yeah. Yeah, there's hollow yeah. trees. I don't think there's they're only, updated. There's only, like, two legit trees that are near the signpost. <laughs> it's just... Ah, oh, they're still not updated. It, it, Play mod timbo. Just, it cringes. Like, oh, makes you cringe. <laughs> I'm not Timba. Just scoot over two trees. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No one's gonna get that. Unless you didn't know what happened at the time. Uh, e examine the tree behind the... Yenil, the what the is Yenil it? Anvil. The Yenil Bank? You examine it, cut it down, and then examine it again. Okay, it's not Egypt. It's not Yenil. It's Yenil. It's Yenil. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, no. It's just the <laughs> lore is poor. <laughs> Not the Yeah Nile River. Come on. No. <laughs> it's actually you Neo know, because there's a uh, post back in the hedge that makes a joke about it. Uh, interesting. Yep. Oh, it's you It's like, what do you do when you go to church? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. wow. That's fair. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be stuck Cannot in my head every time unseen. I think of it now. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah why? why did why did that remind me? But just in terms of things that cannot be unseen, the baby version of the dragon what? wolf looks like a gremlin. What? <laughs> it looks I like a gremlin. Glad I haven't seen it. <laughs> I will find the picture that I quoted. I think. <laughs> It looks like a gremlin. It's the scariest thing in the world to me. Gremlin, gremlin, gremlin. You should get it. <laughs> One second. Did you find this out after you bought it? No, I didn't <laughs> buy it. I just looked at the concept art. I'm not. I'm not gonna get it. I don't like any pets at all because I just don't <laughs> think it's worth the money. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my that's god! Great. <laughs> all right, that's put that fair. in the description. <laughs> Copy. What? Paste. What? That's 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 <sighs> quite entertaining. <laughs> wow. Message <laughs> too. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, Should have asked Jagex. Did you get your inspiration yes. from that? Okay, Gremlins anyways. too. Yeah, so, um, that's that. Okay, so they're adding, with this with the Slayer Tower rework, getting back on topic, um, they're adding Slayer contracts. What do we think about that? Yes. It's like a task, but It's not. like a, a task you can choose. Many, many tasks can you can do at any time. Okay, Gina. Mm-hmm. And you can, yeah, I, I like that idea. And what they said in the video was like, this one guy, because he doesn't have the skills to make himself famous, you can make him famous for you by doing what he wants you to do. And he'll, you know that? And he'll give you a hefty XP lamp in return. Magic. How does that make him famous? Mm -hmm. I, you know that guy looks, I have no that clue. Looks exactly I honestly like don't. That. So why doesn't he because use the XP lamp on himself to make fail. him better? <laughs> the new Meg. <laughs> uh -huh. That guy looks exactly yeah. like the guy from the Halloween yeah. event. <laughs> Just ask Jagex. Mm -hmm. Of course. They'll come up with some roundabout answer. That's what game companies do. That's what we pay them to do. But yeah, so <laughs> Slayer Contracts, I mean, looks interesting. Looks like more Slayer tasks. I, I do like we'll, we'll get people that you to go can do, do it. a Slayer contract Maybe. while on a Slayer task for... So you get, like, mm -hmm. yeah. twice as much as what you probably like wouldn't be getting before. I probably will forget about it if I ever do Slayer ever again, which it isn't <laughs> looking like I'm ever going to. But... <clears throat> and... They also mentioned something about how there's going to be a new floor 
it requires um, 90 agility to they, get to. I thought that they just said there was going to be a new area that required high agility. I don't think they said anything about a floor. In the in the video, they said 90 agility. Well, I don't know. In the video, I don't they have said 90, 90 agility, agility. Nor do I ever plan on getting it anytime soon. I do. I have well, 90. Screw agility. your agility. Four, I think. Three or four. Three. Because agility <laughs> is terrible. <laughs> why? Just why? That's true. Okay. Oh wait, that's, we have skull boots. Fair. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just zone out, okay, zoned well, out for the past bit there. Um, so yeah, we it's have okay. that. We I'm going to conveniently skip the next one for just a second. Um, rehoming. No, it's not important at all. Rehoming old important. friends and others. We don't need to talk about it. Yeah. AKA random event characters coming back to randomly show up elsewhere. Like wise old man. No. Like mysterious old man, and that drunken dwarf. Basically, they get relocated either at the wise old man's house, or I think it's the wise. I don't know. Not the wise. They said that they would just old man. I don't know something like that. Or they go to the Varrock Museum. Oh, Grar's a noob. Anyways, Simon left. Um. Uh, Grar. Didn't they just say that they would be located in various cities? Uh, like they didn't say that it was going to be in any specific space place. Yeah. Yeah, uh, wait, Mr. Mordut, um, how do you pronounce his yeah, name? Mordot. The dragon professor from the random event. Mordot, getting... I think. How do you pronounce it? Or is it Mordot? Mordot? Oh, it might be Mordot. 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 When they have to form... It might Mordot. be Mordot, Mordot. Mordot, actually. Mordot. When they have to form thing to suggest where they would locate him next, uh, I suggested that they put him in the Barak library to be, hmm. like, a professor and stuff. Huh, and nice. that's where he's going now, so I feel awesome. Most logical place to put him. You're not going to put... Well, I think the other suggestion was put him in the... Uh, the safety area, or whatever oh, it's called. Oh, the stronghold of player safety. Or safety whatever. dungeon. Player safety. Stronghold of security? Yeah, that... that player safety, yeah. Yeah, maybe. There's another school now. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting Deacon lore out of him. All of the lore. I think oh, the, the, uh, they only put that. They only put the lure there just to get I people suppose. to go there when it comes back out. No, it's because it's relevant. It, it, it is a good idea. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's I don't mind. Moving old random characters that aren't in the game anymore because they removed randoms. They removed them with EOC, right? Uh, no, before yeah. that, I think. Yeah. They're, they're gone now, and they've been gone for a little while. Either way, so they were yeah. gone. But anyways, um, so we're going to move uh, right along into... Um, or not. Well, actually, they... Um, well, should... Well, one of the stuff they mentioned... Yes. ...was that they're going to do more teasers throughout February. Hidden teasers. And that was the other part oh, in the oh, right. and Old Friends, another okay. thing that I had there. But... That's irrelevant if there haven't really been any teasers. I don't. But, were anyway, there, have there been any? Sure. I don't know, actually. Uh, not Maybe. yet. I don't think. Maybe there has been, but we just haven't found them. All right, Lime. I want you to go count all the butterflies in, in the game. Before. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm And before there was one more that we already but had. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we're gonna go go ahead into. The spam-worthy update of the month. Uh, the new... No. How about ah! no? Um, the new... <laughs> the new god quest about... What is it? It's about Guthix and his... It just says... How about Peter. no? Again. Um, it's... <laughs> it's the new god quest. It's probably going to start the world moving towards the year 170, etc, etc, etc. Um... You don't no, it's sound not excited. moving it. It's, it's not, starting it's not moving the, the fact quest that it's moving. It's, like, it's starting yeah. the ball rolling towards moving it. Because they mentioned yeah. that the new skill was going to involve stuff with this god quest, didn't they? Or is it just that it was going to involve... I don't know. I think the skill was going to be the 
It seems like the skill is how they're going to do it. Moves it forward. It is, at least it requires. It requires, it may be a beta skill, but it requires level 140 combat, but if you if you want to get the rewards, you have to complete all these other quests. I really think rewards is the wrong term for it. N that's what I think. Yeah, like, I have a feeling it's going to be somewhat similar to Recipe for Disaster, where you, there's like a really? certain part. You, I like, think it's going to be similar to Mummy, um, the my, Missing My Mummy. Where you'll do the main quest, and then you can do stuff afterwards to, to get 100%. Oh, that's true. Maybe. I'm not sure. Rather, rather than separate mini quests. Well, I'm not sure. It, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. It, it, like, well, the thing is, it's supposed to be the world wakes. So, and it's a grandmaster quest, but how do you make it a grandmaster quest? That everyone can use, that everyone can do. The bolt. <laughs> I have no clue how they're gonna because do it. They, because they they know that they're gonna make an epic quest and want more people to do it. Just they don't want to be a hogathic stage where only people quest keeps can do it. Yeah. You like that only quest like people that, can yeah. do it, or you like that well, well, everybody be... can do it? <sighs> no, I'm. Week's gonna I, be a busy well, week. I like the idea that only a quest kick can people do it, but I can see why they're doing it this way because think of it like this. You know how always people say that uh, uh, they start liking quests because of Walking Cathedral Sleeps? Well, they only get to do that quest once they're at 270 quest points, so the power are going to have hated it most of their quests. If they get a good quest when, like, early yeah, on, they're going to start quest more. Yeah, I suppose. Start paying attention to them early. Mm. Yeah. You know, it might just be a troll reward like Myths of the White Lands, where you just have to have yeah. that requirement to get That's the what I saw. little XP That's on what the I side. That's I was almost thinking when I first yeah. saw it, because I mean, they're not going to make. I mean, yeah, there's probably going to be some something that's definitely worthwhile for those of us who already have it. But you make that you might not want to just like go way out of your way to do everything else. I don't know. It's 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 hard to say for this one. Um, Well, well, I, I have to say, so it's just a question of, like, this how would they integrate those varying... How would they integrate those varying requirements into the quest itself? Like, yeah. Yeah, and the main one. Like the main quest or the... Well, let's think... I'm going to think of it like this. Let's, uh, maybe the quest would be different for people who already you, have all the requirements done. Yeah, maybe... Well, oh yeah, I mean, that's what I mean, like, let's say uh, you can only go so far in, or like, you go in, like, something's a certain way, but when you do a quest requirement, like, say, Rot from the Stone of Jazz is missing, the fact that that's missing caused something else in that Maybe. cave to uh, be different than it was before. Yeah, I don't know, that. it's just, it's an interesting... Yeah, it's an interesting thing uh, to think I'm about there. I'm curious how all go with together. regards to the way this entire, the way that they're going to set up the quest, as they've been doing stuff differently, they've been testing out new stuff with, with regards to quests and requirements for said quests and requirements for other things. Um, really, dating back to, I want to say QBD, almost. Like they've been they've been playing around with requirements and like sometimes you need levels, sometimes you need other things, sometimes you need things that aren't very intuitive or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. And then there's no update this week this upcoming week, correct? But there's because no wait, this it's Slayer Tower rework is this week, and then the following week is a no update week. So we need to, so yeah, yeah, the teasers will probably be in the next week or two, which is unfortunate for this podcast, but yeah, wait, because there because the BTS no is a week community on the focused BTS. Yeah. Oh, 
You could be a no. conspiracy theorist and think that they don't want to So, this. like, it isn't, like, well, they it isn't confirmed or anything, or it is video just, that is guess, it's just a moment. Confirmed is just likely. Yeah, I know, I know they know this, uh, I actually have a date yeah, off right. Monday, and I was hoping I could do the quest that day. Never mind. They don't cater to Rubik's schedule. <laughs> well, they have been spamming There have been, like, Monday three updates. Monday updates. Actually, yeah. Maybe that's a new thing for this year. Monday updates. Well, Man, I, think Monday it's just updates would be, I would feel updates like for Monday for updates would actually be better for them. Because then there's even more time to sit back and watch the people right. interact with the update. And then if you see bugs, you can fix them. There's more time for that. There's more well, time to The thing just... is... Yeah. The thing is, is being able to release it without any major bugs and that that's the problem with between it's monday and day, tuesday yeah that's like the it's main only, it's only a day earlier it's not like it's it's not like it's half a week like if they did thursday updates and then suddenly start releasing stuff on mondays yeah but the, like, they actually have to go through all the tests and test the content on monday because they're not doing it over the weekend and friday they aren't they don't gonna be doing test it. anything they're they're number one ai testers they don't <laughs> i mean what even is a test <laughs> yeah if it's I mean, they don't really test anything as it is. No, does it have more? It does not. <laughs> it's like, what was it? The QA te BTS or whatever? Where they talked about how the demon flash mobs, how they fixed a huge bug where we're stretching. That shouldn't have been there to begin with. Well, it seems, but that sounds like a uh, bug where that, that's that showed my opinion up in, on that. Um, that sh um, speaking of stretching, the Dominion Tower. All the demons that I've fought stretch horribly. The black demon from Legends Quest, every attack is a horrible stretch. It just, yeah. That probably scared me because my, uh, yeah. my phobia yeah, the, of um, graphical glitches like that. But the um, steer away from the tower. From the tower. It's difficult. It's difficult I lose my sometimes thought. because. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. God damn it. <laughs> blame I don't know. Yeah, blame me actually this time it was my fault. Rubik uses memory loss. What? Rubik uses memory loss. It's super <laughs> It's super effective. Uh, uh so should we talk about the ask me anything? Else has anything to say about the world wakes. I feel like there probably will be more stuff to say. Oh, so Okay, uh, I'm curious about the. Yeah? Well, I'm curious about the Wilderness Crater um, thing. Because it's I've looked be at it in the quest. And I'm not sure it's a sword. Okay. This is going to be used in the quest, probably. Looks, yeah, yeah it, it very well might probably be. Probably will, but it looks to be like the top half of a staff. Well, I mean, the staff of Armadale was rather pointy. The staff of Guthrie? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, what, what part of the sword would it be? It would it'd be the blade part, or the, the, like the tip of the blade, was, or it was the a robo. Oh, oh, I was just saying that uh, yeah. the staff of armor was used more as a spear than the staff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, when was the last time somebody cast caught, casted a major spell with that? Like. Something world ending. I think Lucian used Lucian. Remember during Wild Gothic Sleep, he pretty much just murdered, slaughtered everyone in like a single hit. Oh yeah. He likes staff friend. He got taken out by Dragonkin. So. With by getting impaled by the staff. Yeah. Yep. Second time this it's happened. It's a pointy thing because that you stabbed is somebody staff. with clearly. Oh, yeah, did, you right, no. <laughs> did you see that picture? Yeah, I did. Of me standing on the stone of Jaws yeah. with the staff of armor and dragon king. That's, that's clearly what you use a staff that's for. Mm -hmm. yep. So, why do you think the quest is called The World Wakes? 
the world's because gonna wake because, because Guthix was originally Guthix asleep. Basically, Guthix basically so while Guthix sleeps, the world, the world wakes. According to, <laughs> you know, that would actually help me. You know that theory that Lime always called me a, like a crazy man for. Uh, you mean you know, the one I said where you the one that, I said that the world is actually going to end. But, you know, technically the world could be interpreted to think that the world's okay. starting over with the world breaking up. I think up, that's so a come at me line. I could, I could add to it. Oh, so you're adding to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I, I still don't buy it from that theory. Me. I don't think it'll happen <coughs> anymore either. But it'd be cool. Mining at the Citadel. <laughs> I think it's just like uh, a play on words be. for while Guthix sleeps. Like, while Guthix I, sleeps, comma, the world wakes. I was talking to Anna, uh, ESC release day, and we mentioned something about is a quest oh. called While Guthix Wakes, and she said Spoiler it was no, alert. but it was close. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit late for that. I told you guys this before, but no one really cared much about it. Is it? So again, is, you know, the is the person in charge of it? Or we're oh, yeah, care about it now, that. but hey. <laughs> one of them at least. I think there may be she's, multiple. She, uh, she's Say even confirmed again, around my record. No, it is already known before, though. But yeah. Wait, what's she doing? Oh, she confirmed that she. Was uh, working she confirmed on, on the okay, Myrikus thread. I was the first one to find out about. I know, like I yeah, said, I it is already known. I heard it but, at one point, like, on but the forums now. I couldn't exactly remember whether that was true or not. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know I've said this before. Uh, I think it's kind of funny that Mod Anna, a Myriki developer, is making what seems to be the next Wild Gothic Sleeps. Yeah. Because Mod Titan was well, a Myriki Mod developer Anna's made Wild awesome, Sleeps. So, you know. Titan. Titan was also good. Titan, really? Or was really? it Titan? Whatever. Titan. Titan. <sighs> <sighs> I am disappointed. <laughs> what do you think is phonetics? Anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think, again, if there's some, something anybody else wants to say about that quest, I'm sure there will be after the release, but... <laughs> Gina left. Can't wait for it. Uh, does Gina want to say something? Gina um, left. About the quest. If there's anything else anybody Sorry. wanted to add wait, say about something on what? the quest, the expectations, the requirements, the potential. Oh, yeah. Well, that kind of comes up. What about the new Guardian? Yeah, that's in the futures. Oh, yeah. Well with the future thing that we have here. Yeah, well it yeah, it will involve the quest. Well, it sure, kind of but, involves the quest probably. Um, somewhat. But, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Let's just go right into it. Do you it. think the guardian will be is already existing? Do they know that they become a guardian, guardian during the quest now? or as a result of the quest? Well. So, um, there's a no how many how many they said Somewhere I can't remember exactly in here, but it says the number of it's seven stones, stones right stones. at the Druidic. Eight. There's eight. There's eight, eight. eight. So that that's that's the number of Guthix guardians. We know of four at the moment, and we, we know, know death. Four. We know death's gonna be one, and then we're gonna there's gonna be two more with this quest. So that'll be seven. Yep. And what I don't get is is the balance elemental considered a guardian of Guthix? Uh, I had hopes. So. I think uh, I think of the Mod Guardian of just Jazz. forgot about him. We know no, of seven. I mean, no, I'm pretty sure we know of seven. Pretty sure we know of seven. He was the one. Uh, he, he guarded the Son of Jazz. I don't. Know. I'll Google it. Google. So it's. I do have. I do have to throw no, something being in there. If death is going being to be just to make it ironic. Guardian of Guthix, <laughs> which makes sense if you think about it. Um, will this? Will death be doing a bit of fighting this year, as um, quoted by that was Mod Mark in a in a BTS, I think. Um, 
There's Voluta, Juna, Fiara, Balance Elemental, Anyways, and Grim Reapers, um, but they have on the wiki. Will Death be doing a bit of fighting this year? Will that be <laughs> in this? Will that be involved in this quest, or is that a separate one later this year? That was my first thought. No, I don't think because, so. Because because I play Vindictus, and I one think of it's the a most badass weapons ever is a scythe on in that game. My first thought was, oh my god. I hope they add battle sides <laughs> as a weapon, because cause that's the that's a mage melee weapon and interesting. It's just oh, it's so good. Of course, Robo brought up the point that, that like it. sides are as now considered like that kind of what was it the um <laughs> they're they're like event weapons almost. But I don't know they. they yeah, Robo is. He's trying. To Robo, something. you're staticky. <laughs> okay. Anyways, but yeah. So I was, I was just, I, I spammed extensively about that, even that thought, because that would be absolutely epic. But anyways, um, yeah. So back to our Guardians of Gothics discussion. Go. Someone. Was actual was death actually confirmed as a guardian? Who I thought they just said yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he was. Jesus. Okay, okay. They're gonna. Um, let me um, I was, I was born, I think. It, was it in the Ask Me Anything? Yep. It could be in there somewhere. I'm not sure. Just do that. Yep, it Walter is. It says. Oh, yep, there it is. There are in my eyes the same number of, of guardians. As there are upright stones in the Who's Fiara, circle, you seen Fiara, Juna, Voluta, and Death is indeed a Gothic Guardian. I have one more in mind is in game. Uh, Fiara is the, the centipede. Oh, thing that's that's in, the, the Gothic that's Gothics. the mini game I've never I've never oh, even visited. Oh, okay. that scary obese thing! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> scary obese thing. The caterpillar yeah. thing. It's an earwig. Yeah. Earwig. I'm a boss. I killed her with uh, <laughs> mind spike glitch. <laughs> oh dear God! Smash the bug, huh? You killed yep. the guy Anyways, How could you? Ah, oh, easily. Killing, killing Juna. You if you killed Juna, you get an infinite number of a. Uh... What? Okay. When you killed Juna, lore falls out. <laughs> Journal hunting at Juna. Does it drop a lore? <laughs> <laughs> How much is that worth on GE? Anyways. Too much. Uh, one thing we did forget, though, I don't. Well, I don't know if I spaced up, but we were um, along with the demon update. There was the graphical update of the okay. uh, um, engineering demons, all the demon bosses. I thought about that about an engineer. Yeah. It, it, they, they look strange. <laughs> what about them look strange? Just their um, faces or the whole thing? Yeah, the, the faces. The body looks pretty much exactly the same. It's the faces that just creep you out. And then when they die, Ash. they explode. But that's any demon. Looks like yeah, an ice that's all demons ice now. That, now there's a reason why they turn into ashes. Eh, yeah. Anyways. Guts everywhere. Purple guts. Anyway. Yes, on topic. Um, <laughs> let's see here. What else Back is there in the future? On topic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do we know? Um, so there's Gothic one missing guardian, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our next okay. quest and there's not one but two new Go guardians of Gothics, and possibly even a visit and from before next. Before next is a guardian <gasps> of Gothics. What? R really? Yes. <laughs> Lol. Double agent, Lol. right there. Double agent. <laughs> I I was thinking that. Um, yeah. I remember reading somewhere that the new, one of the new guardians likes telling stories. Yep. And yeah, I was thinking my two possibilities well would be the one. Oracle Skull and Skull um, yeah. I don't remember anything about the Oracle. Oracle for the Shield of Arath when it was there. However, the, in the interesting thing behind Skaldron is that he's yeah he's immortal. Yeah. I think we know that. I think and Skaldron, Skaldron for the Dungeonarian or Demon Hymn, I mean. Yeah, yeah but this, this, the thing is that... Um, he was that made. More, he was. He lived in. 
the fourth age after Guthix had gone back to sleep. So if he was made a guardian, he'd have to be made while she was as while while Guthix was asleep, yeah, or yeah, in the quest when he awakes. Mm -hmm. huh. Yes, yeah, Skeldron sounds. We'll find out. Sounds in about likely, three I suppose, weeks. for Seems one like. of them. I want the quest to be like yeah, well, longer than that. a day's worth of content. They're thinking That'd about cool. that with uh, with the elf <laughs> quest, but that's you know longer a full year or more away. <laughs> that would take like that would yep. take like ten years to program. I mean, I don't just understand how the elf yet. elf quest is taking so long. He, he says they it just takes so much done. work. Oh. Yeah. It, that's just exactly. Yeah, Chris that's it. Combat. He's Chris like he's the combat. The EOC almost the past like, year. All the past. Oh, like, oh that. that I'm in. So that. Um, do do do. Mm -hmm. Quest will take place in the wilderness. Yeah, whatever. Um. No. <clears throat> is Guthix the rarest okay. butterfly? So butterfly. Well, Guthix you can't is a butterfly. Rarer confirm. than Guthix. Okay. Yeah, that was in the Ask Me Anything, because it's right here. I think that was, I think that was in the yeah. Oh, and here, here's an interesting comment. Looking forward to more lure with the dra Draken. Lure? Oh, and thanks for your comments on Draken. Yeah, they mentioned... He just won't give that, up looking for the stone well, they, jazz, the cheeky, blood-sucking scamp. They had mentioned in Branches dun, dun, of Darkmire dun. how he was looking for a stone, and... Or looking at a rock, or what was it? What is the exact wording? I think he was obsessed with a stone, and like obsessed with a stone, I think. Was, yeah. Well, either way, it's it's a rock or a stone. No, it's a rock. And Vanescula yeah. says that, yeah. and <laughs> obviously the the silly thread on the forums came out, came up with what is this thing, and all the silly answers were hilarious. But um, yeah, so that pretty much seems to confirm the fact that he is obsessed with the Stone of Jazz. Yeah. What the hell would he be doing, <laughs> what would he want with the Stone of Jazz? Yep. <coughs> he wants to spread the darkness so as more you turn it over to the rest of the world. Yeah, I guess. Get rid of the little thing on the, the little thing. Yourself. Here's the little thing. Thingy. <laughs> thing. It's, it's just a thing. <laughs> Well, hang on. I'm, no, no. I'm looking according for something. According to Jagex, according to Jagex, they've gotten past it through like so many Magic. weird ways. How does so and so get here? Who knows? Thing. They <laughs> get took a thing a and boat with a thing, and they got over the thing. No. To get there. <laughs> Whoops. He wants to add it to uh, his rock I'm collection. I'm coughing and laughing. That yes. isn't good at all. Uh, yes, orange. <laughs> <laughs> More shinies! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Another shiny rock! <laughs> yeah, but so that's interesting. That it pretty much confirms what they were talking about in Branches of Darkmire. Um, is Karshai reveal still pl scheduled for January? Clearly, it's not January anymore, and that never happened. Take this. But they were. They are planning on unleashing it soon. January. Trademark days. <laughs> yep. Anyways. Uh, silly Scryers, they meant January of 2014. Definitely, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Pretty much all the Zerosian Majorat that are left. Um, and Karshai. Who built the mysterious statues, the big heads? In before you know, used that's a good question. I had lakes. imagined that they were sentries for a god. It doesn't look like it. They are because yeah, by know. the they little comment he gave. Hold on, who's Carapac first? Can we discuss the Elder Artifacts comments? All right, we'll go back to the top. We're going to the top. Okay, gotcha. Carapac no, is the I, dragon kind that created anyways, the black dragon. Go, Rubik. <clears throat> Hang on, wait. I'm still looking for it. 
What are you looking for? Um, what is it? Uh, during the God Letters, Zamrak uh, responded to a question saying that Guthix so was the stone to or the being butterfly, a butterfly thing? or whatever. Okay. Yes. Well, while you're while you're looking for that, want to go with the ancient artifacts thingies or the elder artifacts? Okay. All right. Are there elder okay, artifacts like that we m may walk past every day without knowing the true power of the artifact? Hell's blowing. yeah! Be oh, blowing. I wish I could tell you. Needless to say, mine's will be blowing. Blowing? Yeah, it says. In a different uh, it? quote, he um, says we might have one in our yeah, hands. Yeah, it sounds like a fantastic thread. Right, the Stone of Jazz is 100% an Elder Guard artifact, and there are others in game. You may even <laughs> have one in your hands. The problem is we are going to ex be exploring that very topic in the future, and I want to coyly hide it away. No. How about oh, no? I bet it's the Skrill of Fortune. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that picture of the bear again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I found I found it. It's in uh, God Letters 22, and it's uh, halfway down the page. And one of the questions <laughs> is, is Guthix really a floating metal ball? If so, I've lost respect for him. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is, at the moment, he's a big floating metal skull. But I've also seen him as a small, multicolored butterfly, and there's a large rock type thing. He is a weird one. <laughs> interesting. You know what's interesting about that? That same uh, quote that that guy that just was from the uh, same message that has the quote from the staff of Dungeon Demon Hunt. Like, if you, if, like, if you, just can, if you keep reading that message, it goes into the scrap of the I'm totally lost as to what you just uh, said, Robo. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Rubik, stop it. Stop humming. Shut up. <laughs> stop it or else I'll get my power to <laughs> Don't think that'll solve anything. What? Hello? Uh huh. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be crashed. Apparently, is what <laughs> I don't Robo was think talking so. about, I but I had no idea what he was talking about. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, the butterfly wreck. The same thing as the Gabriel Parchment. Nomad's Requiem, that quote unquote <laughs> lore fail that wasn't actually apparently a lore fail. I already mentioned the desert panther. Uh, he's Rubik. Read to yourself. Artifact. Yeah. I don't know. What's that buzzing noise? Oh yes, yeah, and not me. I think we I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but when he mentions <laughs> that, um, me your mic, Robo. Demon, see if it's you. The demon raids came from somewhere, and are both warriors of specific gods. Um, it means that the gods are getting more influence, and the demons say. And for the demons, he says, "Yes, yes, yes." The demons can sense something. They're sniffing in the air, and they can smell a change is coming. So, it is interesting. Some interesting stuff that was said in this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. A revenge. Also apparently what? has a, lot, a long list of revenge plots. I, plots? Revenge plots. I, I couldn't tell what you... Okay, plots. Because it, on well, my end it was revenge plots, like. and then it cut out every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's this one. Oh, I see. Um, any plans to redo the slug series? I forgot no. that, that. Um, new pocket slot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The second so new like, skill next. To, looks oh, like I didn't the catch second that. new skill is going to be creating so scrims my thread or that I'm probably stuff not. that goes in your pocket. Um, th that's what 
Oh, they could be charms as well. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Charm charms? crafting. Go. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> it's probably a different name than charms. charms. I think it would cause too much confusion. Dude, good. Yeah, Charm spanning. Interesting, to say the least. <laughs> but how they tie in the two new skills. Are we still expecting the new skill first one, like, next month? I'm. I'm Soon. Just think so. Soon. Or. I'm hoping for before December. June. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, um, let's see here. And I think they're going to take their the time on that's this. Something quick is the HTML5 beta coming in March, with a full release coming in late April or early May, a.k.a. middle of the summer, because, yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah late, because they were planning that's on releasing EMC in Jack September, time. and, yeah, <laughs> how about no? Uh, and then... And then... Yeah, and then, and then knowing <laughs> Jagger's yeah. sense of timing, they're gonna put the new skill right in the middle of it, so everything gets screwed up between the transition. I wonder if they do the, the, the HTML5 um, and the skill at the same screenshots, time. what I've seen the screenshots, it looks absolutely freaking amazing. So, <laughs> like, I really, really want to see what they do with the with the full game as yeah, opposed to just definitely. those individual screenshots. Mm -hmm. Wait, like, the, when they release it, it is oh, gonna, it's, yeah. that's basically RuneScape 3 because it isn't just HTML5, it will be HTML5 yeah, plus awesome. the customizable interfaces and all that stuff. Maybe. Would, would be nice. Would that be uh, the multiple characters per account? It could be, actually. If Jagex has had the development capability for both the a new skill and, and HTML5, where have our quests been all these years? Well, they just... They <laughs> I mean, yeah, they just and doubled they their they have team. The, the, all the money so, revenue yeah, from the Yeah, of course, now stuff. they have the, the money to do that stuff. I mean, the thing is, we, we're forgetting the fact that a lot of these things have, a, like, what is what the 9 to 12 month development time, especially for really big updates, such as HTML5, such as EOC, such as the... <laughs> super big quests and mini games player like player on ports or the world wakes i mean player and ports. so we're just now starting to see the cabbage revenue the the increase in staffing and stuff come to light come to fruition like this is the first chance that we're, we'll start to get to see it and we'll be seeing more of it in the future more big updates more commonly so, yeah. Well, I mean, after a certain yeah. point... Unfortunately, like, that means this, more cabbage sometimes, but what are you going to do? People are going to be stupid. They're going to... They're just going to do what they're going to do. And, I mean, there's nothing we can do that's like, no, you can't do that. I mean... Well, I mean, really... The Jagex's version of None shall pass. is so benign compared to other games that it's like... It's just not even worth mentioning. Yay, they have more revenue. Yay, they have a bigger team. That's all that there is to say about it. I mean... Let them if have it brings us fun. better stuff, then... We're good. And with that, we're yeah. done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that's been, about it's been less oh, than an hour and a half because over we started at about an hour, hour and a half. 45. Did we do it? But yeah. But yeah, we did keep it short. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot for wait, us to wait, talk wait. about with regards it's to almost an hour and a half. Yeah, we did keep it short. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot for us to talk about with regards to You're echoing. Holy. Holy. Yes. Echo. 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 Me? Yes. Oh, no. Sorry. I can't fix that. Anyways. So yeah, so um, I believe that is going I to wrap explain it up for it at all, this actually. podcast. Um, yeah. Awesome. Anyone else have anything to say before we do? Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
One thing I did want to ask, just as, I don't know, just here is kind of a better place, but whatever happened to Assertive? Uh, he, uh, we don't we know, think actually. He died. The, pl he the player? No. We're not he mentioned, sure. Like, he just disappeared. Did, did he ever mention that he was going on a break or something? No, no he did actually, not. No. Actually, now it's is, scary. In the forum game, it is scary. He's, he started a, a whole new game. He spent months planning it out, and before the first, he hasn't been on Skype in a while um, either. first turn of the game, he just disappeared. So it's so it, 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 it is a bit creepy. Uh, I've I've actually got him added as well. I'm trying to get him added as a friend on Steam, and he was last online 18 hours ago. I know. So, but ago? but the thing is. Steam can log on when, you, when, you, when the computer turns on, so it might be a shared computer. If you're oh, that is. Don't know. Get your nothing ass online. Yeah, I hope yep. nothing happens. <laughs> also, get back here <laughs> somehow. Please come back so we can stop like, scaring us. The thing is, though, if Lime, if you do get someone added on the thing, ask him about it. Like even if it isn't him. Uh, Mo and I, hey, uh, like could be. the actual Mo, and I think that but, he's yeah. been playing uh, Skyrim all this time. <laughs> anyway, now tell that's us about how it. You all feel. we need to say. Lime, lime. Do you really think that? Um. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. So. Listen. Um. <laughs> all of your problems. That, that'll pretty much wrap it up. I don't think that's what we they have all anything say. else to say about any of this <laughs> stuff, other than random spam. No lime. About um. No. Think we're good. <laughs> nope. No. Uh, about ah! the quest coming up. No. Um, <laughs> yes. March is BTS. Well, our podcast that'll happen in March mm. will probably Can't wait. be a, an extensive one because we'll have a lot of stuff to cover from the World Wakes, the aftermath of the World Wakes, and then probably there's going to be a hefty BTS in March because of this stuff such as the beta and... Um, Possibly a new skill, and and then they're gonna. There's also they said they were gonna do a lore live stream. Possibly a, a new skill. Um, probably in March. We'll see if that's at the beginning or near the end. But um, <coughs> yeah, but we'll see. Um, everything. It could be a. It could be another probably long near the one beginning. in March, as opposed to this one, which is a an hour and a half short podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so let's I have a feeling that with the HTML5, when it actually is fully released, that they'll show it off with RuneScape 3 and a new yeah, the I can see the that. beginning I of year 170. That. But yeah, anyways, yeah, we're gonna we're just actually going to close this up now. So thanks to everybody for watching. Um, thanks. Sweet. Yeah. It's oh awesome. yeah. Thanks to all we'll of meet you back for here participating. Next month for another three and a half hour <laughs> podcast, maybe. <laughs> yeah, fun. and I and we will all see y'all. You're welcome. Later. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Last thing. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.